everyone, it's Keely here for Soy and Shane. Thank you so much for joining me for today's soap making video. We are doing another one of the soap design challenges that I run over on the Patreon page. And for this month, I asked my patrons to give me an idea for just two colors to use in a soap. Now they could either actually specify the color name. I gave them some of the ones I have from Nurture Soap as well as all the My Micro Obsession Micas. Or they could actually list a name of a color like green, purple, something like that and then I can choose which variant shades to use. So I put everyone's suggestion into a jug and the one that I drew out came from Jezebella who runs Madhouse Mama Soaps and I'll leave links to her business down below in the description box so you can go and check her out. And she put down the suggestion to use Trial by Fire and Green. Now as soon as I drew that out of the bucket my immediate thought was to try and attempt to do another Dragon's Blood Soap. But given that I actually give a bar of this soap away and not everybody likes dragon's blood I decided not to go with that idea another idea that popped into my head was a classic watermelon soap but I thought that was maybe a little bit too predictable and I didn't want my soap to look Christmassy I then realized I actually need to restock on my Victorian roses soap so I thought I would do that one with the colors and the reason being is because I want to actually show how you can take that trial by fire and not only get a beautiful red but you can also get a really soft subtle pink as well so let's go and see how I make my Victorian roses using trial by fire and green let's go Okay, so we've got everything ready. I'm making a slab today, so I've got about three kilos worth of oil and my lye water here. Get my mixer turned on, and we're gonna combine our lye water and oils together, and then we'll split it out for the two colors. Well, actually, there'll be a few more than two. mixed together let's split up for some colors I've got a jug here we haven't yet got any color in it but I'm gonna pour off a bit say about that much then into this pot here I have some chartreuse mica so this is one of the greens it's a bit of an olive style green we're gonna go for about half a jug on this one and then I'm also going to use a second green as well. And this one is called Green Sage because I really like this for the color of rose leaves. The same with that other green as well. They make really pretty rose leaf, leaf colors. So I'm going to pour in about that much. Got lots of drips all over the place. Now the other color we're using is the Trail by Fire. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use fair amount in this jug in here we'll probably put about two scoops in so we get a nice dark red in that one but then into this one I'm only going to add a little bit and we should end up with a really nice pink so I'm just showing you that you can actually create um, different colors with just one shade of color it's quite fun like that so let's get these mixed in Okay, and then into these, I'm gonna add my fragrance and I have got Victorian roses in, or well, I call it Victorian roses, but it is a, a, a rose scent. <laughs> I can't talk today, uh, but it is scented with rose and it does smell, for a rose fragrance, smells quite good. So let's get all of that in there. We're gonna mix them in. So you can see we've got a really nice pale pink and then we've got that sort of deeper red color in this pot so i really love the fact that with this trial by fire i can get two different styles of colors and then if you start incorporating things like um, titanium dioxide or even a black oxide or activated charcoal you can get even more variety of colors just with that one pot of color so it really is a good one to kind of have on your shelf because you can do so much with it Gonna get this mixed in now we'll have to move a little bit quicker because i do know that this fragrance oil does set up what i want to try and do with the two i'll say reds 
but the pink and the red here is I'm going to try and get some really pretty swirls going in the bottom and then with the greens I'm going to pour that on afterwards and try and get a bit of a drop in that one so we'll get two different styles of pour. So I've got that bit mixed in. I'm going to get my greens and I'm not going to pour all the green in because we're going to do some piping because we've got some roses to go on the top. I'm going to pour some of this into the soap and then we're going to keep some back to do the piping with. While my pink's hopefully fluidish, let's do, let's do this. This fragrance oil really does set up quite quick. So I'm going to get as much of that poured in like that. I'm going to give this one a bit of a stir because look at it, it's thickening up. Good stir and that should get that moving again. So I wasn't going to do this, but I think I am Ooh, going to put the chopstick through it because it's a little bit more um, lumpy bumpy than what I was hoping for. It really has set up quite disgustingly. So I'll put the chopstick through just to try and get a little bit of movement in there. And then what I'm going to do with the green that's left over, I've got a piping bag with a leaf tip in it. And I'm basically just going to put bits of this green into the container. And then we'll end up with different colored leaves as we're piping. Okay, so I have got that into my mold. This one's moved a lot quicker than what it usually does. The rose fragrance always does move quickly, especially with the, either the Really Red or Trial by Fire. But I think because I've been using a bigger water discount, it's given me even less time. So I'll have to remember in this slab mold, I can add a bit more water. But we're gonna put these on. And again, I've made this with the Trial by Fire. Um, in I used 100 grams of um, soap oils for each of these different colors. In my dark red one, I used 0.4 grams of trial by fire. And to get this pink, I used 0.1 of a gram in there. And so you can see we've got these two beautiful colors. So I'm gonna pop these onto the top of the soap and then I am going to pipe my leaves on and just really fill up the space. this off I'm going to give it just a bit of a spritz with some extravagance gold mica just to really pick up the um, the leaves on that one got lots of gold fluffing around now um, and I'm going to leave it like that and here it is up close now I will admit that that piping was very difficult to do this time I did something I don't normally do and that is put fragrance into my piping the reason I don't do it is because I find that it tends to cause all sorts of grief and it did in this case in that it set up one of my greens a little bit quicker than the other green and it got a little bit lumpy so every so often the nozzle on my piping bag was clogged up and I had to unclog it and I've actually wasted a whole lot of the green soap because I couldn't pipe it out but I'm pretty happy with how that is looking love the colors love the two-tone of that leaf I'm gonna leave it sit here and then we'll be back very shortly and we'll cut it open and we'll see what we've got on the inside Okay, 
Okay, so we have got our Victorian roses cut from slabs into loaves. Let's go for the center one. I can see we've got a little bit of movement in there, but it'll be interesting to see if we have got any sort of swirls, given how thick this one went on me. This fragrance oil, it does usually misbehave in how quickly it thickens up, but it is well and truly worth it because it always smells good for a rose fragrance, always very popular, and it holds well. Funk we go. Let's take a look. We'll start at this end. <laughs> that end's not particularly um, impressive, um, but we have got some beautiful swirl and movement on that side. So pretty happy with how that's come up. Really like the color pink this has gone as well with that trial by fire. So just using that small amount in there um, has given such beautiful contrasting colors. Really love how that side is on there, and especially with that darker green just dropped in as well. Looks like we've got some real pretty leaves leaving up to the top with those roses on there so really really pleased usually whenever I do this um, soap I end up with quite a dark base so I really like the pale pink that is on this one love how we've got the two different tones of roses in there as well really really pleased um, and considering how thick this one was when I poured it putting that chopstick through has given some beautiful swirls into this that looks really pretty that looks like there's a stem leading up to the edge of that rose really pleased with it so there is another one there so if you are contemplating um, what colors to get if you're just starting out that trial by fire is a really good one because you can get that red and that pink in there mix it in with a bit of white and black as well and you can also change those tones of color so I hope you have enjoyed watching how I made my Victorian roses soap. If you did, why not leave me a thumbs up and any comments down below. And until the next video comes out, I hope you have a good one and I will see you then. Bye.